It's March 24th, 2018. This is Shop Talk. Shop Talk podcast with Drew. Live from the workbench. And I hope uh, you guys are digging this new audio I got set up. So I was going to play some guitar, but it's getting a little late. And you know how the neighbors are. So anyways, to clear up some of the stuff from last week, uh, it, it was... It is binging, not binging, shit. It's binging with Babish. <clears throat> not binging with Babish. Why the hell would it be bing? Anyways, uh, Crate, the Crate uh, Blue Voodoo Cat that I went to check out, that was a 4x12. I said, uh, Imminent Speakers, what I was looking for was the version that had the Celestian Vintage 30s. So, just to get that right. And if you need to contact me at all, you can contact Shop Talk with Drew at yahoo.com. And I hope this is just latency because it sounds like there's a echo or double of this crap going on. So uh, I got some new audio cables. Uh, they weren't very expensive. I'll get into it some other time. And some more guitar playing some other time. And um, uh, I can actually uh, wear headphones and use a, a real mic now. So so you got uh, 317-2018, the Cavs game versus the Bulls. You got Kevin Love out. Uh, Tristan Thompson was out. Larry Nance out. Rodney Hood out. Seti Osman out. And Kyle Korver was out because it was his birthday, and I blame him. And I believe he just turned 36 or 37. Either way, I'm taking the, the day off of work. But they were so f- so incomplete with the whole team that I'm surprised he took off. But uh, my problems with the team <clears throat> that day, and I know once you hear this, you'll realize, uh, was it yesterday on Friday they played Phoenix, and Larry Nance came back, uh, Kevin Love was back, Kyle Korver was back, but by the time I checked by the third quarter, I don't know that he played. So, and I think Rodney Hood was back too. But um, the, my my problem was uh, they had very lack of uh, big man presence. Uh, Le- LeBron, uh, career high, 15th triple-double uh, in a season. Good for him. Um, but my problem with them out on the court was uh, on their secondary, I believe, had three point guards. Which I actually I love that they're playing Calderon more because they need to, and um, uh, but you had Calderon, uh, Jordan Clarkson, which he could be a scoring guard. He is a scoring point guard, but he's got the size to be a scoring guard. And then um, you had George Hill out there, but anyways, they had three point guards and uh, two small forwards in the secondary, which Jeff Green and LeBron James. That's all good and well, but. You know, six eight, and then you got six nine, and is Jeff Green really six nine? He's probably six eight, and maybe he's really six seven in real life. You know how they list those guys being taller than what they really are. Um, <clears throat> I've been watching a lot of uh, Norm Macdonald, and George Carlin, and the guitarologist, which I mentioned last week, and Uncle Doug, that also works on amps. Again, here we're into uh, you know, pawn shops, guitars, grilling, um, NBA basketball, um, and also been listening to a lot of Bill Burr, which uh, you can't really go wrong. And then, um, yeah, a couple uh, cheap fixes for guitars and everything. Um, <clears throat> you can use jeweler's files. And on eBay, a set of 10 is $7.95. And you use this all day long to cut your guitar nuts. They're even strong enough to cut in the bone. Um, So there you have it, $7.95. That's your cheap fix of the week for your guitar stuff. Of course, a lot of stuff can be found on eBay. All day long. That's another thing. I sold a couple of things on eBay to keep me going the last couple of months, and I'm not that proud of it. But you know, what do you? I have to 
do what I have to do, and I've got rent. And I had a um, nine millimeter, not a gun, uh, ten karat gold bracelet, twenty six point six grams, blah blah blah. Uh, really long, and I would have had to have it um, a lot of links taken out of it. It was like ten and a half inches long. I would probably make it a nine inch bracelet. Either way, it kills me because I bought it just to just to wear, and I never got to wear it, but had to sell it. What can you do? Um, another thing. Uh, I wish I could have seen the uh, the the Celtics game. Uh, no Kyrie, Tatum balls out. And last episode we opened with uh, I forgot to mention Joe Bonamassa that came into the store. Well, um, Joe Bonamassa Epiphone just came out with a Karina Flying V, and I got to tell you, eight ninety nine. How could you go wrong? I might have to order one because I've I've wanted one for a long time. And I'm trying to think of, I don't know if the guy was from a sugar, uh, Brent Hines. I almost bought one of those. And I, that's when, when I called in, it was like a flying V custom. Uh, and I, th- I think it had a black overlay, but it definitely had an ebony fingerboard. The only, my only concern with the Bonamassa version is, um, it said, I believe it said, uh, black wood. And I've never heard of that kind of wood before. I don't know if it's, um, you know, if it's rose wood that they just darkened up or they baked it, you know, like sometimes they'll bake maple now. I don't know. So, um, really interested to see, cause I can get one pretty cheap with some monthly payments. And, uh, really thinking about going out on a limb and buying one and maybe doing a review on it here. But, uh, you know, it is, it is one of those things. If, if I let it go, I'll never get around to buying one. But if I buy one now, you know, I'll have it. And it comes in a hard shell case, and I don't know, I think it'd be really cool to guitar to review. And I've always wanted, I, I play a lot of stuff like Albert, um, King and a lot of people say I sound like him, which I'm not saying that, but uh, you know, that would be cool. Love to have one of those, of course. Got the drink, got the little bit of lime in it again. I was gonna wait to do this because, uh, the I cut off the internet on Wednesday. No, Tuesday night, and it took them all the way up to Thursday to cut, um, not just the internet, but the cable, the phone, everything off. And I might, we already uh, put in another order to get uh, internet cable, and but it's going to be a lot more affordable monthly. You know, I'm pay, I was paying like 150 bucks a month. I was getting the channels that I wanted, and I thought about going to YouTube TV, but then I have to get Apple TV and. All this different crap and got all these Samsung TVs. I had mentioned this before. So, um, and then, uh, we got, didn't talk much about pawn shops, but again, I'm, I'm, I've been selling a few things online. I'll get further into that in a couple episodes. Uh, a lot of bullshit going on just financially. And, uh, that's just because my previous employer fight no fight me with with me on some stuff, and uh, I'll get further into it because I'll know more not next week, but I'll know more in a couple weeks what's going on. Basically, they owe me a lot of money, <clears throat> and you got what's for dinner? Well, it's less than a week ago. Um, I've been using this because my wife's Spanish, and uh, she's been making a lot of different dishes the last few days because we finally got to the market 
No, not your grocery store. The market. And uh, I got some red onions. Got a mason jar for a little over a dollar. Um, white vinegar. And uh, I've seen a couple of different recipes. Actually, I've seen a few, let's just say a handful of recipes to to make for pickled onions. And I'll tell you what, I'll never eat tacos or any kind of Spanish dish without some pickled onions. It just sets it off. It's like an explosion in your mouth. But I, uh, I a lot of the recipes, they called for steeping them for about a minute in uh, boiling water, hot water. And I did that. But I think next time I'll either not steep them at all or still steep them. But when I put them actually in the mason jar, because after you steep them in hot water, it calls to boil your vinegar, uh, one half parts water, one half parts uh, vinegar, and some, I used kosher salt and some sugar, and got that to a boil. And then, of course, after the onions were already in the mason jar, I put the hot water into the mason jar after it cooled down. Well, it didn't cool down that much, and it was really hot. I think maybe next time I'll put it in, um, like, an ice bath. Uh, Just sit the mason jar into an ice bath as I pour the hot water in there. I don't know. That's why how I'm going to try it next time without boiling, without actually steeping them for a minute or so in the hot water. And uh, other than that, I actually ate some tonight. And that's been four or five days ago. And they're still got a bit of crunch to them. Um, they're, gonna, they're not going to be good in a couple of days, but still. A uh, really cheap, great, flavorful way to add to a dish. And, uh, yeah, I'll never, I'll never eat anything like any Spanish-style food without it ever again. Still got the old... Uh, same guitar from last week. Same amp. Of course, I'm turned down a lot more because it's already after 10 o'clock here. Luckily, it's Saturday. But on, you know, through the week and everything, you can't play guitar very loud at all. And also another thing I've been noticing, too, when I'm, I, I'm dragging these things from YouTube to these different websites before I put it on iTunes it cuts it off a little bit so after the recording I might let it go another five seconds ten seconds and we'll see Uh, because I don't want to cut off anything that I'm saying not that it's that fucking important but hey you never know but I hope you had a a, a good week out there and my week, I told you last week, wasn't going to be that busy this week, but um, I got a lot of stuff done. Me and my wife got a lot of stuff done. Um, a lot more stuff to do next week, of course. And uh, we'll see. I hope everybody likes the audio a lot better. It's this is, uh, just an AKG. I think it's a D5 microphone. But I can actually hear myself through headphones now, like actual headphones. And I hope this isn't, because I'm going to go back and listen to it way before. I hope I didn't just waste my time and everybody else's time. Because uh, it sounds like there's some uh, latency, latency, however the hell you want to say it. And I hope that's not cutting into it. Eventually, i like to get um, a little mixer. Right now, I'm running into a, just a Digitech vocalist performer. But uh, it has the capabilities of putting octaves and all this different shit on your voice. And that's what it kind of sounds like. So I'm hoping it's not it. I even turned off the reverb, which I I would normally use. But uh, uh, cable's coming back. Should have everything back on Tuesday. This might not get uploaded till Tuesday because, you know, it's difficult. We were running... uh, hot spot off my wa- my wife's uh, phone and hell the first night I stayed up to like 6 or 7 in the morning burn up all the gigabytes well 10 gigabytes and, and then after that 
it just like it won't function properly. It still connects to the TVs, still connects to the um my my iPhone. Uh, I use the iPod Touch, the new the newest one, and uh, I don't know. It just pisses me off. This is actually what I'm recording to now. So, yeah, I know it's not the most uplifting recording or funny or blah, blah, blah. But I uh, tomorrow I'll be missing the Brooklyn game. I miss the Phoenix game, even though I can get the highlights and seeing some stuff, which was cool. Still, it's not the same. And uh, that was actually the first game I've missed uh, in the second game, which would be tomorrow on Sunday with Brooklyn. Uh, the first game I've missed, and since LeBron's been back, uh, even the year before he came back, I was I watched every game. And the year before that, I quit watching them, for one, because they were too terrible, and for two, because I went to this local bar here. And I'm not going to mention their name. They're supposed to be a nice place. And they are. But the owner is the bartender. And they were watching Kentucky football, and she would not put it on the Cavs game for me. And this is when they still had Dion Waiters, and that was my team: Kyrie Irving, Dion Waiters. Dion Waiters was one of my favorite players. Um, you know, they they weren't a bad team. They didn't have a great team, but I mean, it was still fun to watch. So that was another reason I didn't have cable at the time. What can you do? So I'll let all you get out of here. This week, uh, hopefully, I have some more guitar playing and stuff going on next time. And uh really haven't done anything uh, music-wise. I haven't really screwed around. You know, I, and I think that should be the end of it. And we'll go into this, too. Here, let's change it. Okay, you guys have a good week. I'll see you before next week, and hopefully uh, I have another uh, uh, podcast coming out way before uh, Saturday. Have a good weekend. Have a good week. Bye, y'all.